Gift shopping is hard for either one of two reasons. The first is that the person that you're shopping for either has everything and wants nothing or is a conscious consumer and you have no idea what is ethical enough to get them. Or number two, you're a conscious consumer trying to purchase items for people that they will number one, enjoy, but number two, that don't exploit humans or animals in the process. This video has the 10 ethical gift ideas that you need to know about before they sell out so that you can give an amazing gift that's actually practical, that people will love and remember, that also doesn't force you to choose between your money and your morals. There's a bunch of ideas in this video starting from the least expensive all the way to those that are a little bit nicer or luxury. But let's start off with the basics. Everybody's got a body, right? And sometimes our bodies get dirty, and hygiene is a great thing. But being someone in the beauty industry, I'm constantly frustrated and disappointed with the amount of packaging and unsustainability that happens within the cosmetic products. Lush Cosmetics breaks that mold. They were started in London, and they're actually an ethical company. All of their products use recycled packaging, they are completely cruelty-free, and a lot of their formulas are vegan. They've also recently gone the extra mile and actually done even better packaging. This is a little wrap that is recycled, made from post-consumer material, and you can actually purchase one of these to wrap your gift in. On top of that, it can be used as a headscarf, lunch bag ties, or you could just use it for cleaning. This is the Sleepy Shower Gel. It is vegan, it is pretty gender neutral, and it smells great with a little bit of lavender in it. And all of Lush's products are actually handmade, so you can see who made them on the back. Depending on what you get, some of their bath bombs start at seven or eight dollars, and a lot of their other beauty and bath products tend to be around 20 or 30. If you are looking for a really good stocking stuffer or inexpensive gift, these Lush bath bombs are amazing. They're seven to eight bucks, and they are literally glitter explosions in a bathtub. They foam, they fizz, they turn the water different color, they add sparkle and a whole bunch of excitement. Other than washing our bodies, something else that most people do is drink coffee in the morning. And coffee is a really great and practical gift. But the thing the thing with coffee and morning rituals is that most people just purchase what they always have or what's cheapest. This is a great opportunity to introduce somebody to a new brand of coffee, maybe a luxury line that's a little bit nicer, and of course that you can find fair trade or organic. A really nice bag of premium coffee could be $10 to $20 and you could even get them a mug to go along with it. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, so both of these are personally local to me. They also have amazing flavor. This one is from Santa Cruz, California, and this one is organic and fair trade. You can always read the labels and actually look for some of those symbols to know that they are certified. Another one that I really love is from Lake Tahoe. This one is certified organic, and it actually supports clean water initiatives. And I would really recommend just buying something that is local to you, support somebody in your area. Also, make sure that you're looking for those organic or those fair trade certifications. It's a great gift and the receiver will thank you eternally for feeding their addiction. <laughs> I do have one more bath product recommendation that might be better for those with sensitive skin. Lush is amazing, but they do have a lot of colors and fragrances. Level Naturals is a brand that's similar to Lush because all of their packaging is recycled and they're vegan and cruelty free, but they have a lot more of these naturals. They do have some essential oils, but that's pretty much it for fragrance. They have bath bombs and soap bars that start around $8. This is a really great body bar for those who might deal with chest or back acne. It has natural charcoal as well as tea tree, which can be antibacterial and kind of help to get rid of some of that dirt and oil. So this is also a great option for an athlete or those who are into skincare. They're also gluten free and you can find a bunch of stuff on their website that goes anywhere from $8 to $30. Next, this wouldn't be an ethical holiday gift guide without a fun little DIY. Succulents have taken over Instagram and the one thing that I like about this trend is that they're pretty hard to kill. Now I say hard, not impossible, because I actually have killed a succulent and I keep his dead body here as a reminder not to do that to my other succulents. But this is a really fun DIY project you can do for a friend or somebody who works in an office that is relatively inexpensive, maybe around $15. First, just look for a clay or a ceramic pot. You can find these secondhand at thrift stores or at home goods stores. Dirt is a dime a dozen and you can actually get succulents for about $3 at a local hardware store. Also, a lot of these rocks are super simple to find at an art store or online. They're two to five bucks each depending on how big they are and what colors you get. And especially if someone is into crystal healing, you can get them something nicer and throw that in there. 
there for them. Overall, this makes a beautiful rock or succulent garden that you can give that enhances someone's bedroom, office, or personal space. You can also put these in an art terrarium or one of those kind of circular hanging balls. And just as a little note, I actually made this with one of my friends named Valerie in San Diego. There's a store, I believe it's called Prism or Wander or something like that, and they actually have build your own DIY succulent gardens. When you put it all together, it's a little bit more expensive there. You're talking 30 to $50 depending on what you include. But if it's an experience you want to gift somebody instead of just an object, doing a fun little DIY craft like that together is a really great idea. For the foodie or the health conscious, you know this wouldn't be a Cassandra Banks and gift guide without a book inclusion. This is a book called How Not to Die by Dr. Greger. And for those who are really concerned about health and don't just want the recommendations but want the facts, this is where you get them. He is an amazing YouTuber. I would recommend checking out his website and his YouTube channel. But he has this entire book, which is basically all of the nutrition facts, discusses a bunch of different foods, nutrients, how they're broken down in the body, and what the scientific literature actually says about them. His website also has a bunch of different recipes, so you could gift a little printout along with this. The hardcover is $30, but you should be able to find a paperback as well, and if you'd like, you could always get it secondhand if you want to really go the extra mile and do the whole recyclable and sustainable thing. As an extra little bonus, you could get a zucchini spiralizer. This is something that I personally use to make zoodles or zucchini noodles. You shove the zucchini right here, you spin and you twist, and it goes through this little machine and turns it into spirals of zucchini pasta, and they are great for lasagna, spaghetti, you name it. It's a really great way to stay healthy and the holidays are right before the new year when a lot of people have the goal to get healthy. So this is a great way to help somebody get their antioxidants and their fiber in. Next, this is a gift that is very untraditional but that I'm very excited about. And it's a piece of art from Muir Way. Muir Way is this company that prints on recycled and sustainable paper and they actually create maps. Now, their maps aren't traditional. Not only are these maps printed on recyclable material, but they actually are hydration or topography maps. Topography maps the heights and the different divots of canyons and mountains. This one is personally the waterways of North America, showing all of the rivers, all of the streams, and the lakes. They have other ones that show old city maps from San Francisco or different states or even entire countries. For somebody who's a traveler or a mountaineer and loves this kind of stuff, this is an excellent gift. Especially for somebody who grew up in a certain area, like Chicago in the 1950s, or hiking up Mount Shasta, or the Alps at the Rockies when they were little. If you get them a beautiful wall map of that that they can hang and look at, it's a beautiful piece of art that also brings them back to nature. Not to mention you can find recycled frames to put these in, or buy a recycled frame from your way. The next gift is a piece of jewelry that is not a blood dye diamond that is actually sustainable, it is recyclable, and it's full of inspiration. This is from a girl named Ingrid. She lives in Panama and she actually searches for sea glass on the beach. Sea glass is what happens when waste and bottles get thrown into the ocean. It gets churned around for years and it washes up on the beach and the sand turns them into these smooth little rocks. Ingrid loves the ocean and she and her daughter used to collect these pieces of glass and she started wrapping them in gold and turning them into jewelry. The great thing about her jewelry is that they all have sentimental meaning. For instance, some remind you to stay kind, some remind you to search for inspiration or originality, etc. And she has bracelets, she has earrings, she has necklaces, etc. The prices can vary, and because they're handmade and wrapped in gold, they could be anywhere from $50 to $300 depending on the piece or pieces you get. But if you know someone who likes to wear necklaces or rings or you see them with a bracelet every now and again, this is a really great gift idea that gives back to the earth, it supports sustainability, and it is adorable and inspirational in the process. When I first went vegan, it was difficult for me because I came from a background of consumerism, trying to shop my way to happiness, Louis Vuitton bags, leather Prada, things that I didn't even like that I put myself into debt to try to buy, just to try to feel pretty or worthy. And obviously that didn't work. When I decided to go vegan in both my diet and my fashion, I still sometimes had this craving for a nice handbag, but it was difficult because I really couldn't find one. The only brand that I know of that's really vegan and mainstream was Stella McCartney. It was really hard to find just a nice designer bag that did not support the cruelty of animals. 
And if you're buying a gift for someone who is a vegan, or if you don't want to put your money towards something that you don't support, this is a brand called Angela Roy that's based out of New York. She has these luxury vegan designer handbags that are actually really practical, and they're made with a vegan leather that does not smell like plastic, which makes me so happy because sometimes there are even some high-end brands that actually smell like a cheap plastic factory in China, and I swear to God there is nothing worse than that. These are actually luxury handbags and luxury items that are built sustainably so they do not exploit people in the process, and because of these materials and glues that do not have any animal products, they also support animals. These handbags are adorable and really practical. They're built to be sturdy yet chic. And the line also has wallets and other vegan leather goods that are also built with the quality and with the good materials. I think the zip wallets start at around $100 and the purses are anywhere from $150 to $200. So it's a really great idea to consider for a fashionista or somebody who loves luxury but not the exploitation. Another issue to address are shoes. And it is really hard to find shoes that do not exploit kids in another country, that do not use animal products or animal glues. But here are two options that I would highly recommend. First, these are my tried and true. If somebody needs a great everyday shoe, these are from Rothy's. They are actually made from recycled water bottles. They feel literally like sneakers on your feet. They are not uncomfortable, they are stretchy, and you can actually wear them in the rain and throw them in the washing machine. They're around 120 to 175 bucks a pair, but they are so worth it. And they're a really great everyday flat. Now, if somebody is a little bit fancier or looking for something a little bit more special, these are something I would highly recommend from Rang. Rang means color in both Hindi and Punjabi. And these shoes actually support the local artisans who make them. As you can see, they're embroidered, they're different, and they actually take a minimum of 10 hours to handcraft and embroider per pair. They have a lot of beautiful details on them, and the great thing is that they're made with no animal products. So again, you're not exploiting animals or people in the process. They also have a large range of sizes to fit any foot, and of course they have flats as well as heels. Even the box explains a little bit more about the process and the meaning. At the end of the day, it's about finding gifts that are fashionable and beautiful, but that don't exploit people or animals or the environment in the process. If you are looking for a men's shoe, I would recommend Tom's. A lot of them are vegan, they're extremely comfortable, and they give a pair to someone in need for every single one that's sold. And very lastly is one that is my personal favorite, that is custom, that is unique, and that doesn't require any packaging or any waste and it's making a donation in someone's name to a charity that they support. I have a friend from Sweden named Cecilia, and for my birthday two years ago, she actually made a donation to the Rainforest Foundation in my name. And I swear to God, I got great gifts on my birthday. I got gift cards for food, I got some sustainable beauty products, I got to go on a little trip. I think experiences are always better than items. But I have to tell you that getting that email in my inbox, seeing that she thought of me, and that she knew exactly what mattered to me most, and took an initiative to make this world a better place with her dollars going directly to an organization who was doing good was something that I am so eternally grateful for. Even this year for my birthday, you might have seen what I posted on Instagram back in November. I asked people if they were willing to take me out to Starbucks to instead make a $5 donation to Prabhasada, which is a charity organization in India that helps homeless orphans as well as the mentally disabled. So think about the person that you're trying to give a gift to and ask yourself if they care about the environment, about animal rights, about human rights, about the rainforest, or what that is, and make a donation in their Name. You don't even have to get out of your pajamas and fight lines in a store. You don't even have to worry about wrapping the gift or even make the time to see someone in person if they live a far way away. It's a really beautiful gift that I would highly recommend that from my personal experience has made a huge amount of difference. And also this wouldn't be a Cassandra Banks and gift guide if we didn't mention pets. Pets are awesome, many people have them, and cats always go crazy for organic catnip. I really hope that you enjoyed this comprehensive gift guide. Again, it comes down to putting your money where your morals are. You should not have to pay money to an item or a brand who exploits the animals, people, or the environment just to give a gift to somebody else. You can make conscious choices that make this world better while still giving a great gift and putting a smile on someone's face. And if somebody is hard to shop for, I hope these are some great and a little bit untraditional ideas that maybe you didn't think of that really hit a sentimental and environmentally friendly chord for someone that you're shopping for this holiday season. I love you guys so much, and if you're not already subscribed, please do so. It's free, and it helps to show me and others that these educational and ethical videos matter. And if you're trying to drop a hint about a gift that somebody should get for you, if you're vegan or if you're a sustainable consumer, there's a little white arrow in the corner that you can actually email or text 
to this video to somebody else. Sharing this content is a way for you to help somebody else open their eyes and be a more ethical and conscious consumer. At the same time, you might end up with one of these items under your tree or in your stocking. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always making this world a more beautiful place both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.